Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the time has arrived. Uh, we will have our start with our business meeting for the city of Prattville. We will open with a Pledge of Allegiance and our invocation. If you're able to stand, please do so. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will you bow with me? Father, in the midst of our personal agendas, we pause to thank you for the gift of this day and for your gifts of life and health and strength. Our sympathy is extended to those that have lost loved ones in recent days, and we are mindful of those that are daily wrestling with the challenging issues of life. We ask for your hand of comfort and your gift of peace to be with all affected. We pray for all citizens that are providing services to their fellow man, whether local or abroad, whether military or public service. We pray for their efforts to be successful and at the end of their duty for their safe return to their family. We pray for the health and healing of our nation, our state and our community, and for all of those that have an influence on history. Tonight, as we conduct the business of our city, we ask that our thoughts and actions be pleasing to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Madam Clerk, will you call the roll, please? Councilor Striplin? Here. Councilor Jackson? Here. Councilor Brown? Here. Councilor Starnes? Here. Councilor Cables? Here. Councilor Strichick? Here. Councilor Boone? Here. Declaring a quorum present, we will call the meeting to order. The character trait of this month is humility, acknowledging that achievement results from others' investment in life. This time, the chair will call for approval of the city council meeting minutes held March the 21st, 2017. Second. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Is there any discussion concerning these minutes? All those in favor of your adoption signify by raising your right hand. All opposed by a like sign, this motion is carried. At this time, we will entertain comments from persons present regarding tonight's agenda. Mr. Mayor, you have a report? I do, if I might ask for a point of privilege. Yes, sir. If I can have it, ask John Paul O'Driscoll and, and party to come forward if they would so like to, but uh, as they are doing that, I'd like to mention um, a little bit while he's coming up. We recently had a neighborhood cleanup in Spring Hill, and I want to thank our city councilor, Marcus Jackson, sanitation superintendent, Tracy Simpson, and others, including Autauga County's own John Paul O'Driscoll for um, engaging in that cleanup. So thank you all on that one, but also Elizabeth Taylor for organizing the event. And uh, so again, thank you one and all, and uh, for making Prattville better one project at a time. At this time, I'd like to turn the microphone over to John Paul O'Driscoll. My name is John Paul O'Driscoll with Otago County Commission, but also chair of Otago County Pals. And um, I wanted to, Otago County Pals um, is 10 years old this year. Uh, we wanted to mark that by presenting a 10 year report to the city council uh, and also to acknowledge the original committee who began in 2007 and, and also to give recognition to Mr. Bob Lee who, along with the original committee, got the ball rolling. And uh, the report that you should have in front of you, um, Todd County Pals does a number of things, including promote, promoting adopt a mile uh, and adopt a stream. And we have uh, 21 miles currently adopted in Prattville, or 55 across the city and county. And that's uh, people who clean up regularly uh, along the roadside. Um, um, spring cleanup is a signature event for Tar County Pals and from 2007 it's been a major push that we do each year including this month and um, we also do other cleanups including Swift Creek uh, cleanup uh, and, and three years ago we started doing parks cleanup uh, in the city and county 
to involve teenagers uh, countywide. Um, we've also uh, done a lot of elect or electronic recycling, paper shredding uh, that benefits the community. And uh, Ms. Jody Welling began doing this uh, I Promise Never to Litter, a pledge that we started doing back at uh, Prattville Junior High, and we've continued doing that at schools, at City Fest, uh, the County Fair, and uh, we can definitely say we have more than 22,000 signatures, uh, and we keep doing that. Um, roadside cleanup is another thing that came uh, working with Judge Colley, and uh, so, so far in Prattville, over 200 miles have been cleaned up, um, and uh, countywide, about four, 504 miles. I currently have two individuals who are out cleaning right now on different streets in Prattville. And uh, we did have a beautification award, uh, which we hope we can rejuvenate. And then a few years ago, we did in, in, uh, implement a tree planting project to benefit the city in Pratt Park. And this is the, a, a summary of the report that I presented to you. And um, so this is the impact that Todd County Palace has had in the county, city and county. And we wanted to make you aware of that. And um, thank you. Well, I'd like to say thank you to Mr. John Paul. And actually, I have a um, commendation for him and the Talker County Pals. And, and I don't know if you have anybody else here who'd like to come up and be alongside you. And But, you know, one of the things that has really impressed me about the Pals and how they have interacted also with the Tauga Creek Improvement Committee, but also uh, the recycling of the electronics. Is that in month of May? Uh, well, we were doing it twice, and we're now doing it once a year because okay. the volume has dropped, mm -hmm. and so fewer people have electronics. Uh, so we, now we just do it in January. <coughs> well, hopefully everybody will take advantage of that instead of putting them beside the road and, and if they end up uh, finding their way in the in the streams and in the garbage dump. So, but. Uh, but if you will accept this commendation and, and hopefully some more of your, your members can come up. It's Ten years is a long one. Lee, okay. We wanted to honor Bob Lee, who along with Ines Hazel and Melanie and Harold. Harold Hammond uh, currently has, has a shoulder out, so he can't be here. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, so, but, um, but Mr. Bob Lee and Melanie and Harold and Roy started the ball rolling. And uh, we wanted to thank them for doing that. Well, thank you. Do you want to take a photograph with the mayor? Yeah, can y'all get on? Come over here. He was a great guy. Yes, you do. <laughs> 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 no. We knew that he was going to call at five minutes to five. Make <laughs> <laughs> sure we were still here. And we most certainly do appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the resolution includes that he, he had a hand in creating a document or Alabama Piles as well as document in Georgia. He did a lot of education. Well, thank you. You know, in talking about Bob Lee, he he uh, he definitely made his presence known in, in, in a positive way. He came down um, before this uh, for the city councilors for many many years and and brought up so many different issues that we were able to address. And and I really did appreciate him and and uh, his legacy lives on. But moving on, um, you know, yesterday we did have a severe weather pattern that came through. What we weathered that we weathered very well. We we're able to handle what Mother Nature threw at us due to the professionalism of public safety, public works, and other dedicated employees. It is anticipated that we have another round of that tomorrow. So if possible, stay off the roads and stay in a safe place. I've, always, I've already heard that Otago County Schools will be closed tomorrow, the YMCA, and uh, so if you don't have to be out, stay in. Uh, April is uh, Autism Month, and I want to thank our Judge Joy Booth and also Jennifer Barrett for pulling together a local awareness event of that, and um, it was a good event we were able to attend to today. 
On another good note, Maxwell Air Force Base will be holding their air, air show on Saturday and Sunday, acknowledging the U.S. Air Force heritage to Horizon, a celebration of 100 years of air power since World War I, opening ceremonies at 11 a.m. on both days. And so if you can, please be there and enjoy that. If you can't be on site, uh, since they will be up in there, just anywhere up and down the river region, I think you'll be able to enjoy it. Our police, fire, and IT have moved into the public safety building as of the beginning of this month. We're finishing up on some odds and ends as if you happen to ride by. And another bit of good news is that the bid process has taken place on our public works building at just about the time that the site work is being completed. For council approval, the public works building will be ready to, in, to inhabit in about five months, which I think is a very aggressive timeline. So we'll just have to wait and see if, if everything works accordingly, if Mother Nature and the good Lord has a little hand in it, I think they just might be able to make that tight timeline. But that should be coming before you guys in the very near future, but that is most certainly a needed project. Our public works division has been working out of pretty much portable storage sheds. And during this event that we had yesterday, one of the awnings that they had in front of the one that uh, our superintendent uh, uh, works out of, um, uh, lifted up and, and damaged it. And so it's definitely time for them to be upgraded. But Mr. President, I send in my report. Thank you. Anyone have any questions or comments from the mayor? Thank you. Thank you. This time we'll move into reports on special committees. Councillor Jackson. Councillor Brown. No, sir. Councillor Starnes. No, sir. Councillor Cables. No, sir. Councillor Stritchett. No, sir. Councillor Boone. No, sir. I'll briefly report on the finance committee that met yesterday afternoon. Uh, we, were, as a committee, we received comments from our finance director concerning the end of year audit. Um, we also briefly discussed the franchise agreement with um, Alabama Gas Corporation. We discussed the possibility of several pieces of property to be surplused uh, by the city and the comments from the members present was that they would prefer addressing all of these properties at one time. And so during the next uh, month or so, efforts will be made to, to bring all of them to you at one time. We discussed that we had received the documentation that we requested from the Martins. We planned to move some of the departments into the vacated spaces within City Hall, and we heard some of the potential plans to, to make that happen. After the public portion of our meeting, we went into executive session and we there we discussed economic development opportunities. So that concludes that report. At this time, we'll move into our regular agenda. The first item is an ordinance to repeal the City of Prattville Code of Ordinances, Chapter 62, Division 3, Truck Routes, Section 62-116 Prohibited. Council President Pro Tem Brown, would you introduce this ordinance, please? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Prattville that City Code Chapter 62, Division 3, Truck Routes, Section 62-116 Prohibited, as adopted by the City Council in Ordinance Book 2015, page 46, on December 15, 2015, is hereby repealed. All ordinances are, or parts of ordinances in any manner conflicting herewith are hereby repealed. So moved, Mr. President. Okay, we, uh, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Before we can move forward with this matter, we require a suspension of the rules for us to address it this evening. Chair will entertain a motion for suspension of the rules. So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a, several seconds. <laughs> um, is there any discussion on the unanimous vote? that was required to suspend the rules. Hearing none, call for a vote. All those in favor of suspending the rules signify by raising your right hand. All opposed by a like sign, motion carries. Now the ordinance is properly before us. Is there any further discussion on this ordinance? All those in favor of its passage signify by raising your right hand. All opposed by a like sign, this ordinance is carried. 
Next item is resolution number two to set a public hearing to rezone property located at Martin Luther King Jr. Drive and Moses Road from R3 single residential to a PUD planned unit development. Councillor Jackson, will you introduce this, please? Whereas Kevin D. Smith, Daniel Trey Nichols, and John C. Brown are the owners of the property described in attachment A and shown in attachment B, and whereas the property to be rezoned is located inside the city limits at Martin Luther King Jr. Drive and Moses Road, and whereas petitioners wish to rezone the property from R3 single residential to PUD plan unit development, and whereas a public hearing on the proposed rezoning was held by the Prattville Planning Commission on March 16, 2017, and whereas the City of Prattville Planning Commission did recommend the rezoning of said property be amended as described in Attachment A and Attachment B from R3 single residential to PUD plan unit development, whereas the Planning Commission considered and recommended the plan unit development zoning based on the standards contained in Attachment C, now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Prattville that a public hearing is set for May 2nd 2017 at 6 p.m. in the council chambers at City Hall. So move, Mr. President. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Is there any discussion on this resolution? All those in favor of its adoption signify by raising your right hand. All opposed by a like sign. This resolution is carried. Councillor Jackson, would you introduce the ordinance, please? Be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Prattville, Alabama, as follows, that the zoning ordinance of the City of Prattville, Alabama, adopted on February 10, 1950, subsequently amended from time to time, and the zoning map adopted on the first day of May 1987, are hereby amended to reclassify the property described in Attachment A and displayed in Attachment B from R3 single residential to planned unit development and that the development agreement recommended by the Planning Commission is affirmed and approved as the agreement governing the zoning of Dawson's Mill as shown in Attachment C and that this proposed ordinance was advertised for two weeks in the Prattville Progress, a newspaper of general circulation within the city limits of the City of Prattville and the City Council of the City of Prattville at its public hearing on the second day of May 2017 at 6 p.m. considered said <laughs> proposed ordinance and that at such time and place all persons who desired had opportunity to be heard in favor of or in opposition to such, or to such ordinance. All other items and provisions of the zoning ordinances of the City of Prattville not herein specifically amended shall remain in full force in effect. The amendments herein contained were considered and approved by the City of Prattville Planning Commission on March 16, 2017. This ordinance shall become effective upon its passage and execution as provided by law. So moved, Mr. President. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. By order of our rules, this ordinance will be held until after the public hearing, which is scheduled for May the 2nd, 2017. This concludes the items on our regular agenda. Is there anyone present tonight that would like to address the council? Hearing none, Mr. Mayor, any closing comments? Councillor Jackson. Councillor Brown? No, sir. Councillor Starnes? Yes. No, Councillor Cables? Yes, sir. Uh, a couple things here real quick. I wanted to thank Mr. Driscoll uh, and all the representatives that were here tonight from the PALS organization really doing a, a, a great job of uh, litter uh, control and some recycling programs here in the uh, in Utah County. I also want to recognize the uh, Prattville Police Department and uh, Chief Ham. Make sure and say thank you to all your guys that came out Saturday and helped with the center point half marathon uh, went over real well from what I understand. Uh, and lastly, uh, Ms. Cook, uh, thank you very much. And please pass this on to Barbara, the cultural arts uh, thing on Saturday. I know I was only there for a short time, but I really enjoyed it and, and walking around and seeing what, what everything's being done down there. 
Um, thank you very much. Councillor Stritchett. No, sir. Councillor Boone. No, sir. Due to economic opportunities, we will need to have an executive session this evening. Uh, it is anticipated this session will run approximately one hour and we will not conduct any business when we return. We will adjourn. So at this time, Chair will entertain a motion to go into executive session. Okay. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor, signify by raising your right hand. All opposed by like sign. Motion is carried. We are into executive session at 622.